Hello there, Sagittarius. This is your July 2022 reading. Let's get right into it. What, what do you need to know about what's coming up for you guys? Let's see. Oh, the Empress. You're stepping into your Empress? Are you dealing with an Empress here? This could be a Libra Taurus, but I feel like it's your energy so far. Um, it could be that you are very creative this time. Uh, this is one of the most abundant cards in the deck, so this is a good card to start off with also. It also could be, um, speaking of someone being pregnant, also this is a great time to start a new business, uh, new career, new job. Okay, let's see what else we get. Ooh, so there's going to be equal give and take coming in here. I like that. Six of coins. You also have, you're completing a cycle to start something new. Nice. Could also be something returning too with the world card. And we have the queen of coins. You could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. This will also be your energy. It has something to do with your home, your material things. Let's see here. We have... Ooh, the key? Oh, no, Scissors cutting something out are you cutting a earth sign out or are you cutting something out in your life let's see someone is worried about this i think you might be cutting out an earth sign and they're very concerned about this we have what you do not see is this hidden energy is the nine of swords let's get into this a little more here okay why is the empress here Ooh, the King of Pentacles. Okay, so we have the King and Queen. We have a match set here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This also could be a boss. It could be you doing quite well in business, which is really what I, I'm feeling here. Let's see. We have a dragon. Powerful. Wow. Courage. Power. This person is very strong. I think this is your energy. <coughs> Sorry, I got a tickle. So, um... It could be someone else, but I feel like it's your energy. You take, you're take, you very in charge, empowered, um, probably making good money here. And you might be having a queen of pentacles, or, you know, that you're trying to, queen of coins, queen of pentacles, that you might be trying to cut out of your life or cut something out with them. But there's also, um, the dragon is protection. You have a lot of protection as far as your finances here. Okay, let's see why we have the Six of Coins. We'll get more into that Queen of Coins down there. Um, let's, let's see what we have here. Ooh, speaking your truth, being fair. I don't, I don't totally feel like you're cutting this person out, so I'm very anxious to get down to that clarification here. But this is speaking your truth, starting something new, cutting out what does not belong, um... It almost feels like you might be starting something, oh, ending a cycle, starting something new, and almost giving this person an ultimatum. They don't stop doing something, you cut them out. Because I don't really feel like the energy is that completely moving here. Okay. Let's see, why do we have the world card? Okay, things are going to move quickly. A cycle's ending, a new cycle's beginning, and things got to happen quickly. There also could be a lot of communication. Come in very swift though now. I really want to know what's going on with this Queen of Coins. Why is the Queen of Coins here, please? What's going on here? Ooh, okay, this is the give. Okay, I feel like this is, with this card coming up twice here, this person did not contribute like you did. I think you were very generous, very giving. And now you. Own, I think you're giving this person an ultimatum. If they don't give like you do, you're going to cut them out. Okay, on the bottom deck we have, yeah, you're standing your ground here. I don't know if they see this because this is hidden, but you're almost like watching. And okay, let's see what they do. That's the energy I'm feeling here. Okay, let's go on to the next row. But you are very powerful with your dragon there. I think, okay, they probably never saw the fire come out before, but they might be seeing it now. <laughs> you're speaking your truth. Okay, let's see what else. And you're willing to move away from something, or you could be moving away from something, something better, or someone can be moving away from something to come towards you. You could also be traveling at this time. You could be changing locations where you live, where you work, changing jobs. You're very powerful, though, with the 
uh, Empress and the King of Pentacles. Let's see. Ooh, and then comes the King of Wands. A lot of passion, desire. Could you be moving, changing jobs to something that you're more passionate about? That's more creative? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you'd be dealing with too. Let's see. Oh, let me get charm on this one. And we have, what, oh, we got two. We have the dragonfly and we have the moon with the stars. A moon with a star. I think you're having your dreams come true here. You, this is, um, dragonflies are transformation. This is also um, being able to go between the spiritual and, and earth here. It's like the dimensions. You're able to, to go between and see things. Capture something here. I'm getting the word capture. Okay, so this could be a person doing this, or you could be, or someone else, or this could be you. Let's see what else we have here. You have choices. You might be a little confused with all your choices, but something's gonna make you really happy here. Happiness is coming in for you. We have Leo here, and we have the Sun underneath. There's a page of wands. There's some kind of communication coming that you're not aware of. It's not here yet. It's coming in. And this also could represent uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be someone younger than you. Let's clarify these. Why is the Six of Swords here, please? Why is the Six of Swords here? You're moving away from conflict. There was some, maybe a lot of drama, a lot of unnecessary arguing, or I feel like this, all this is very unnecessary, whatever this is. Maybe competition too. Feels more like drama though. What about this King of Wands? Why is it King of Wands here? Ooh. This King of Wands is coming in with an offer to you. A proposition here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be younger than you. It also um, could be, it almost feels like a, a business proposition here. Yeah, I think someone's coming in with a business proposition for you. Let me get a charm on the page of Pentacles. We have an another, yeah, this is another dragonfly. So we have two dragons. There's just definitely some kind of transformation coming on. Something's changing and shifting in your life. I feel like you're changing jobs or changing businesses or maybe starting your own business. Almost feels like something new is getting offered to you. Do you want to take this on? Do you, would you want to do this? And it's going to be something that is like, I'm getting, I'm looking at this moon and stars, like reach for the star. You get the moon and the star. Okay, why do we have the seven? I think this makes you really nervous. I just felt a real queasy feeling in my stomach. Okay. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Ooh, we get the King of Cups. You have many choices. Look at all these kings coming up. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Someone's coming with an offer of love for you. But you have a lot of choices, I think, in love. Let's see what we get here. We have here, ooh, glasses. Are you seeing something here? Are you able to perceive something? Is there something? Look at the fine print. Look at something here. Maybe this is going to open your eyes to something. Put on your glasses. Um, look um, closely at whatever this offer is. Okay, what about the sun? Happiness at work. You're putting a lot of time and effort into something. You're going to be really happy. If, you ch if you're changing something or whatever you do, I think you're going to be happy anyway. But I feel like this is more focused on a work environment that you're doing quite well what you do here and you're getting recognized for it and you have many options, many choices. And yeah, you might be juggling things. You might actually, for some of you, you might be still doing this and maybe starting a business on your own. Or, st or maybe doing both. If you're do doing one job, because there's a lot of opportunities coming in, especially being the Empress. You're very abundant. You're very creative. It's, it's a great time to do stuff here. But you might be juggling a couple of different jobs, a couple of different careers, maybe. Because they almost, they feel different. This feels a lot of finance here. Because here you have the Empress, which is abundant card. Then you have the King of Pentacles, which is all about material finances. And then the King of 
wands here is very creative. A lot of passion. So it almost feels like this makes money. This is good. But this is your passion. Also this could be represents what you really love to do here too. But I feel like this is more like this is career, this is business, but this is a person. And you still have this person in here that we have the Queen of Pentacles who is, you know, either you have to have cut down on the spending or cut down on something here or given to this person because they don't give back. If they don't give back equally, you're going to cut them out or cut down on giving to them. Because you're cutting something out here with the scissors. Let's see. What else do we have here for you guys? What else? Okay. So there's a message coming in from either Aries, um, Leo, Sagittarius, with an offer you're not sure about. Doing a lot of thinking. Oh, okay, we have this bat, badminton tennis racket with the ball or the birdie stuck in the racket. So this is going back and forth with this communication, discussing an offer here. Not sure if you want to take it, but there's going to be a, a lot of back and forth with this, with this person. Could, this person could be younger than you. We here we have Paige again. Or it could just be um, a young idea, a new idea, something fresh. But going back and forth, and then finally... It gets stuck here, and you have to make a decision. Or they have to make a decision. If, well, whatever you counter offer back to them. Yeah, it's going to go back and forth, and then it's going to stop, and someone's going to have to decide here. Okay, let's see. Ooh, the Ace of Swords again. Truth coming out. A dragonfly again. A lot of transformation. And we have the Knight of Coins here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. On the bottom deck, we have the Moon. Things that are hidden. A lot of emotions. This person coming in here, the Knight of Coins, feels like they're attracted to you. They're coming in with a message. They come in slow and steady. Let me get a charm on them. A whale. A whale's tail. So the only thing I think of with this is like they tell a whale of a tail. Um, it's like... A whale, something huge. They have a they have a big story, a long story, some some kind of big story, I think, because that's why I'm getting the whale of a tail. Almost feels like this person has been out of touch for a long time. They come back with quite a story when they return. If that makes sense, it's not going to be for everyone. Okay, why do we have this four of cups here? So there was some kind of hurt with this person that's coming back with this offer. So that's why he's going back and forth. You can try and see, get more clarity on it. This could be a third party that interfered with a connection, whether it's a business connection, whether it's a love connection, but there's a volume back and forth about deciding on what to do here. Let's um get another card here. Ooh, going deep. Okay, before you really make up your mind, you're going to go deep. You're going to soul search here. This is Virgo energy. You want to heal this situation, but you're going to make sure that you get all the details. You have all the answers. You're going to really go deep before you make a, a decision on this. What about this? And you want the truth, of course. With the Ace of Swords, the truth is coming out. So let's see here. Oh, we have the Queen of Wands now. Okay, the truth is coming out about a Queen of Wands. The truth is coming about. Could this be the person that came in between you and someone, or is this your energy? I do feel like this. People are finding you very attractive, but the truth is coming out something with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So it could be truth coming out about you, truth coming out about somebody here. Let me get a charm on this one. And what is this? Oh, a sewing machine. Mending things together, putting the pieces together. I almost feel like you're putting the, the truth together. With the sewing machine and the 
the ace of swords either you're doing this because you're the queen of wands or someone's doing it or the truth is being put together or you are being brought together you're being mended something being mended something being repaired sewn together pieced together okay now what about this this knight with the whale tail here let's see Ooh, look at there's a lot of people in here <laughs> okay we have every king so we have the emperor with the empress because there's every king here and we have the empress so now this message come with the whale tail could be coming from a king of swords which king of swords wants the truth And here's a lot of confusion. I can see why there's confusion. Look at all these people in this reading. Okay, let me get a... Um, so you have many choices, I think, in business and in love. What we have here... Oh, a wing, an angel wing. I'm also getting flight. Communication for birds, and um, so which have wings. Um... The wing also could mean that someone has to maybe fly to you. Also, I would say that this is something heavenly with the angel wing. This is, I think there's a truth coming out. There's things being put, pieced together, mended. And if it's a whale of a tail or... Big, this person could also make a big splash when they return with the tail. And don't forget, we got the Pisces energy here mm -hmm. with the moon. A lot of hidden emotions are underneath all this. Someone is hiding their emotions when they're speaking to you. But you do have many choices coming in here. I think you have a lot going on as far as business, career. Your career is taking off. You have many options, many ways to go with this. Uh, you might be doing a couple different things at once, not just um, focusing on one type of career. I, I think there's other 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 avenue venues or something that you are also um, thinking about contemplating but there's also people coming in but I think the people as far as love is not as prominent because you're trying to get all your uh, finances in order at this time but I do think there's people attracted to you you have a lot of communication it's almost feels like you're setting everything up as far as your finances your career getting your money and situated here and then people are going to be you know you're sort of keeping people in mind the back of your mind meeting people and say hey i kind of like that person maybe in the future we can um, have some discussions go out on dates or something like that but right now you have to focus on your money and then there's either people coming back from the past it feels like a lot of new energy to me though it feels a lot of new stuff and with this Queen of Pentacles, it's like, I feel like this Queen of Pentacles got to, got to, you know, well, they got to sit up and fly right or, you know, that something has to be corrected here because something is not even give and take. So there has to be more, more give on this Queen of Pentacles side or else they're going to be cut out. So let's do, what's the word here? What's the word on this King of Pentacles? I'm going to just go right across the top. Okay, let's see. We're starting out with the King of Pentacles. We have fear, important, finances. Okay. So maybe you have all these options here and you're afraid of what decision you're going to make, which way to go. But it's weird because we have fear and then we have the dragon here. So you're being very courageous unless someone else is fearing. That feels more like it, that someone else is fearing what important finance decision you're making. Especially if you cut out this Queen of Pentacles. This could be someone that relies on your finances, on you giving to them. But if they don't give back, they don't participate in this connection, you're going to cut them out. So I think that might be more like related to that. Because when I see this dragon here, I see all this powerful energy with this King of Pentacles plus the Empress. I don't, and you have the Ace of Swords. I think this is your you and your power. Okay, let's see about this Queen of Swords. I mean, a Queen of Pentacles. I'm sorry. Queen of Coins. All right. We have Expose, Talk, Before, Caring. Okay, I think before you cared about what's happening here, 
now something's gonna some kind of talk is gonna expose this person. That's what I'm getting here. So then you're gonna have to make a decision where you want to cut this person out. Okay, <clears throat> now for this King of Wands. What's the scoop on this King of Wands? We have Will you admitted realize regret? Okay, will someone here admit that they okay, well keep it like that way. Will someone admit that they realize they have regrets for what happened in the past? If this makes sense for any of you, or it could be someone admitted they realize they regret something and they might ask you a question, will you? I think that one that sounds better because it does it feels like this is a new opportunity coming in here. So someone maybe you worked with them before or did something with them before. And now they're coming back with an offer and you're sort of hesitant but i do feel like you're doing a couple different things here what about this page of pentacles serious thoughts very soon okay maybe very soon you're gonna have to think about things serious about this offer or someone is very seriously thinking about you and you're going to find out, out about it very soon. What about this um, King of Cups? Which I felt like was more like a love thing. But let's see. We have unknown. Love. <laughs> immature. Okay. They might approach you immaturely. Or they might be immature. It might be also just saying that the immature love is like kind of new. So it's not, not mature love. But it's unknown. You're not aware that this person loves you. Coming in. Okay, now what about this page of wands? Oh, got a few here. Okay, so we have lust after lover. So someone might be lusting after you. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. You can rearrange it. Let's do the Queen of Wands. Forget money, the end. Okay, so this might be someone that you might say, forget, I'm not giving you any money, or tell them to forget you keep the money, or they might be telling you to forget and keep the money, but it's the end of a connection here. Someone wants to mend something, might be the end of it. Again, and you know, take a screenshot when I'm done putting down all these words and rearrange these the way they make sense to you. Now, what about the Knight of Pentacles? We have player never expect. Oh, either this is a player and they never expect you to do what you had to do. This is the will of a tail person here too. So that makes sense with the player. Or you never expected them to be a player. I almost feel like someone never expected to be played <laughs> and they were the player i don't know that might work for someone might not let's see about this king of swords boy we have a lot of people here let's see very busy as usual sagittarius gift apology future okay so someone's gonna apologize in the future and they might be bringing you a gift here or maybe their their apology is a gift take it and maybe that's the way you feel about it if they were to apologize that would be a gift because you never expect it or they're going to apologize with a gift we'll see when you get your apology see whether or not they come empty handed or not okay let's see what signs we have for you guys what are the signs for Sagittarius what are the signs got a lot going on in July Cancer Taurus. It's over a little bit. I wonder if I can move this. I need room for my names now. <clears throat> okay. Well, two together. So I'm putting them together. Scorpio, Sagittarius. Means you get extra. And we'll put Aries. Pisces. And Taurus. So. 
this could be placements in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, future people. We have Cancer, Taurus, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aries, Pisces, and Taurus. Now let's do the letters. Let's see what letters we have. 11 letters for initials for first name, last name. You get the first and last, and you also get the middle. If you know someone's middle name, and you get the first and last, um, then it's going to be past, present, future people, and also your own. Okay, we have T. Z, F, X, I, L, B, R, R, Y, one more, and O. Okay, so letters we have for you today are T C F X I L B R R Y O. <clears throat> okay, now for the names. What are the names? Let's see. Let's see if I can squeeze them in here. We're going to have Joseph, Katina, K-A-T-I-N-A, -A. <coughs> <coughs> sorry, someone wants to speak, Christy, K-R-I-S-T-I-E, Hiram, H-I-R-A-M, Teresa, T-E-R-E-S-S-A, Vontonio, V-O-N-T-O-N-I-O, Chateau, Shatara, S-H-A-T-A-R-A. -A. We have Samantha, Tamara, Laura, L-O-U-R-A. I'm just short one. Okay, one more. And K, K-A-Y. Those are the names. Okay, guys, now remember, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if something resonates. Please, let, oh, someone wants to speak. <clears throat> Getting real scratchy. Please leave comments. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all you like, share, subscribe, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you. <clears throat>